In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When you put your cares in God's hands, He puts peace in your heart. Today's Morning Assembly is presented by Class 6-2. Surrender is a term that refers to giving up or losing a battle. Now, when we choose to give up the fight with our conscience, we are either dedicating to be with our selfish, sinful selves or be totally honest to God. Each time we decide to get closer to God, we build a relationship with the Almighty, who will remain ever faithful to us, ensuring we are blessed with peace in our hearts. It is only when one has established this relationship with God, he or she begins to surrender the toughest moments to the Almighty. Thus, one can say that when we put our cares and worries in His hand, He will put peace in our hearts. But nothing can happen if we don't have faith. God speaks to us in many ways, asking us to have faith in His works. Listen to a few of God's words. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who seek Him. Lord, we surrender our cares in your hand, cares of the world during the pandemic cares of the country and the falling economy, cares of grandparents and parents, cares of little children. Lord, we ask you to restore peace, good health, love and well-being in the hearts of all who are struggling to survive these trying times. When evil darkens our world, give us light. When despair numbs our souls, give us hope. When we stumble and fall, lift us up. When doubts assail us, give us faith. When nothing seems sure, give us trust. When ideals fade, give us vision. When we lose our way, be our guide, that we may find sincerity in your presence and purpose in doing your will. upon you.